we are going to discuss a problem the question is interface 2 4k by 8 eproms and 2 4k by 8 ram chips with 8086 select suitable maps in our problem we have to interface 2 eprom chips and 2 ram chips so the size is given as 2 4k by 8 eproms that is 2 4 kilobyte eproms and 2 4k by 8 ram chips so 2 4kb ram chips so the total size of eprom is 8 kilobytes and the total size of ram is 8 kilobytes so these are the two memory units that we have to interface with our 8086 microprocessor and in this question memory map is not given we have to select suitable maps so first let us see the block diagram how the uh, connections are made let's see how this is done first we have to draw the block diagrams for eprom one for the odd bank and one for the even bank so the read only memories we have to draw it as odd bank and even bank next we have to connect the memory uh, read signal for uh, read only memories or eproms we can do only read operations so we have to connect the memory read signal next we have to connect the data uh, lines d0 to d7 should be connected to even bank d8 to d15 should be connected to the odd bank next address lines are to be connected so here we have to connect a1 to a12 of the address lines of microprocessor with the uh, chips because we are connecting the eprom sizes total 8 kilobytes 8 kilobytes is equal to 2 raised to 13 so a0 to a12 those address lines are to be connected with the two uh, banks of the rom memory but a0 is used for the chip selection process also so while connecting the address lines connect a1 to a12 uh, to the corresponding rom memories now these are the chip selection pins cs1 and cs2 are the chip selection pins cs1 is for odd uh, bank of rom and cs2 is to select the even bank of the rom similarly you have to draw the uh, block diagrams for the ram memory also in our question the ram memory is also of uh, 8 kilobytes in total so we have to draw it as two blocks and we have to connect the memory read and write signals to the ram memory because ram supports reading and writing um and uh, regarding the data buses we have to connect the d0 to d7 to the um even memory and even memory bank and d8 to d15 to the old memory bank and uh, the address lines a1 to a12 um, is to be connected to the ram uh, because the size is the total size of the ram is also 8 kb now uh, cs3 and cs4 are the two pins used for chip selection uh, so we have to uh, design a circuit for this chip selection and that is the next task now let us uh, look at the uh, question once again interface 2 4k by 8 eproms and 2 4k by 8 ram chips and we have to select a suitable maps So the EEPROM size is given as 8 kilobytes and RAM size is given as 8 kilobytes. Memory map is not given. So which address range is to be selected for EEPROM and which address range is to be selected for RAM? That is to be decided. So let us see how the addresses are selected. Whenever a machine is turned off and then restarted, uh, the first execution will start from the bios in 8086 this bios is stored in an address which starts at fffff0h so this is the address of the bios the bios is stored in rom so when 8086 microprocessor is restarted 
the execution starts from this particular address ff ff 0h so whenever an eprom a read only memory is interfaced with the microprocessor we have to interface in such a way that this particular address comes in the eprom so whenever eproms are interfaced and when we are asked to select a suitable memory map start the eprom from the address ff ff fh and uh, calculate the corresponding address so that we can find out the memory map for the eprom memory that is when we are selecting the eprom memory start from fffh and how much memory is required in the question we are uh, asked to map 24 kilobytes rom chips so total 8 kilobytes rom chips so just subtract the value of uh, 8 kilobytes from fffff and find the end address of this particular memory range that is the value fffff minus 1 fffh that is equal to fe000h so this is the address here so eprom total size is 8 kilobytes or 8192 in decimal so this memory is the eprom and it is in the range fe000h to fffffh so we have to find this value fe000h whenever eproms are to be interfaced and if the memory map is not given start from fffffh fffffh and uh, subtract the size of the eprom and then we will get this value fe000h so this is the eprom address range and uh, next we have to find a suitable map for the ram memory also so this ram memory is also 8 kilobytes in size so the next address we have to make it a continuous memory map so next is uh, the next value is fd fffh just subtract 1 from this value so you'll get this now subtract 1 fffh this is 8191 that is 1 minus 1 is subtracted from 8192 and we'll get 8191 and this is a hexadecimal equivalent for that and we'll get fc00h this is the address range of the ram memory so we'll get the address ranges like this now let us draw the memory map so this is the memory map of eprom and ram so eprom fe000h to fffffh and ram fc000h to fdffh and we have written the corresponding binary numbers now we have to select the pins that can be used for chip selection and we are looking at this these two memory maps we can see that a13 that pin is correctly differentiating the ram and eprom for all the locations of eprom a13 pin is 1 and all the locations of ram a13 pin is 0 and uh, a14 to a19 those pins are same for eprom and ram so from this we can understand that a13 is the pin that can be used for differentiating ram and eprom so a13 can be used for chip selection that is the information we get from this memory map now for doing this problem we can use a decoder 
3 by 8 decoder. A 3 by 8 decoder means we are getting 3, we are giving 3 inputs and we are getting 8 outputs. For selecting the different uh, outputs, we can use the 3 by 8 decoder, 3 8 decoder. So here we have to select uh, ROM and RAM. And among ROM and RAM, we have to select OD bank and EVEN bank. So for that selection, we can use a 3 by 8 decoder very easily. This is a very easy method for uh, designing the chip selection pins, chip selection circuits. So here the three inputs that we can give, they are a 13th pin, A0 and BHE bar. And we will get 8 outputs in total. 8 outputs are not required. We know we need only uh, we need to select we need to select only uh, four banks of memory. So how we'll design the circuits? So here this is how we can uh, design the circuits. So here a thirteenth pin is zero for the RAM memories, and it is one for the ROM memories. And A0 and BHE bar, we already know the table. When it's 0, 0, it is for even and odd addresses. When it is 0, 1, only even addresses. And 1, 0, only odd addresses. And uh, here also the same thing. 0, 0, even and odd address. 0, 1, only even address. And 1, 0, only odd address. So when it is RAM, you will get the combination 0, 0, 0. When it is 0, 0, 0, even and odd addresses in RAM. When it is 0, 0, 1, only even addresses in RAM. 0, 1, 0, only odd address in RAM. I am similarly in the row memory also. So let's see how this is done. So this is a 3 by 8 decoder, 7, 4, 1, 3, 8. So these are the pins given, BHE bar, A0, A13. And uh, other pins A14 to A19 are given here. And these are the output pins. So here we have 0, 0, 0, even and odd addresses in RAM. 0, 0, 1, only even address in RAM. So for selecting even addresses in RAM, you have to use the 0th output and the first output. So this is uh, CS4, 0th and 1st output are used for selecting the even bank of RAM. Now for selecting the old bank of RAM, let's see. Old bank of RAM is coming in the first combination and in the second combination. So 0, 1, 2. So here this is uh, 0 and this is uh, 2 so 0 and 2 can be used for selecting the old bank of RAM so this is CS3 now let's see the ROM memories so for even addresses 100 zero zero and 101 one, so that is uh, 4 and 5 so 4 and 5 those are used for selecting the even bank of ROM and the next one is uh, 110 is for old bank of ROM and uh, for old 100 is also used. So 4 and uh, 6 together used for the old bank of the ROM. Okay, so by using the decoder circuit we can easily uh, design the chip selection circuits. So this is the uh, figure uh, of the interfacing of two EEPROMs of uh, 4 kilobytes in size and uh, two RAMs of uh, 4 kilobytes in size with uh, when we are connecting it with 8086 microprocessor. Thank you.